son you think that exists? I don't know. We're about to find out. Well, I'll you kill you, but you never be able, come back. You never be able to tell us. Never know you come back. So you never be able to tell us, though. Well, yeah, you know, one day we'll find out. Yeah. In heaven or hell, I'm gonna be like, yo, you were right, I was wrong. All right, this is camera check. Camera check. One, two, one, two. All right, man. We're back at it. You gotta do that. See, Live again. You wanna sync it? Ah, uh, no, nah, we don't need to do this. Guys, you know, we're clapping now because we tried to sync it last time and it didn't work anyway. So you know, the other thing's gonna work? We're gonna make it work. But it makes it easier. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we're back at it again. We're back at it again. We're back, 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 back at it again. Back at it with the pack with the rucksack and the rucksack and the back and the back and the back. <laughs> okay, man. So what'd you do today? Uh, man, you Tell know, the people. I did it for the kids, bro. I did cultural improvisation for the cultural children of a cultural American. I deposited some of my God-given, very limited knowledge into some children, you know? Invested into the Deposited some... Chris, that sounds very pedophile. <laughs> First of all, I thought you were going into like a sperm bank when you said I deposited some of my <laughs> God given only knowledge. only in sperm banks when we say deposited. <laughs> and you're over here talking some re- yo, stop, stop saying weird stuff, bro. Tell me what you did today, alright? That's it. You're Simple. the only person I ever heard say deposit is weird. Yeah, like you know, you go to deposit money, you go to the deposit sperm about the sperm bank. Like it's all about banks, so you don't deposit, deposit information. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, Chris. you do. No, we just give information. Stop saying deposit. Jesus Christ! Come on, man, use better words, please. <laughs> please. What did you do today? I'm trying to confuse people. What did you do today? I, what, is, what did you do today? <laughs> we didn't understand. That was so weird. Like deposit it. I just hung out with What'd people. You do? What served at church. About, like, really talk- okay, I right, served right, at right, church right, right, right. today. I don't okay. understand what the trick question yeah. is. It's not a trick question. I'm saying, tell, tell me what you did today. You know, I, I served people at want church, to know bro. what Chris does on his regular time. I've been getting comments. Hey, what is Chris doing? No one is like, I've never <laughs> asked you that. And if you answered, I was left you and them. <laughs> I you know Chris just does here and there. You know? I would text him like, I would like, meet me at Melrose, one on one. Bring your shoes. One on one? Okay, man. All right, so what did you do? All right, so you were at church today, you talked to the kids. Yeah, man, um, we got to serve children today. Um, you know, I do believe in God clearly. I think it's pretty obvious. I believe I'm a, I'm a man of faith, I guess. Um, yes. I mean, I don't know. People call it man of faith. Man oh, okay. of faith can be a lot of things. Okay. Yeah, you know? But, uh, so yeah, it was, you know, we got to pour into kids. Um, and it's not about, like, converting people or anything. It's about just giving them what we believe and let them choose for themselves. Like, I always say, you know, knowledge is power. You know, so our job as any kind of communicators, whether in YouTube or in life, is just to give people the opportunity to know and let them decide after. You know, and that's what I got to do today. So it was pretty cool. Um, I got to do it with Fatima, so it was it was really really cool. It was mm-hmm. different. You know, I don't think I've ever had a presentation with her, so it was kind of cool. Do you, do you practice that the, like the back and forth thing or no? no. So it was a hundred percent. Yeah, I, I, like like yeah. So organic. I, just, I gave That's her the outline of like what I thought we should do, and obviously asked for input. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was more like um, kind of like what you and I do. Like, hey, do they want to talk about this? Yeah. You know, and, and let's let's feed off. You know, where the conversation goes, where the mm-hmm. flow goes. Uh, you know, let's make sure we address the points that we think are important, but. Yeah. But not I don't I don't ever want anything to feel forced. Like everything I do, like I have this this belief that. You know, the Bible says, out of the abundance of your heart speaks your tongue. Mm-hmm. And so I don't ever want to have to practice a preach because I should. Be, I, I believe that my life should be the preach. My life should be the message. Yeah. So whatever I say I believe, it should be obvious and it should be natural when I speak about it. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have to explicitly say the word Jesus. I don't have to explicitly say the word, uh, you know, I'm down. I want my life to be I'm down. I want my life to be faith-driven. Mm-hmm. And so when people look at me or people hear me that, I don't feel like I'm doing the most because mm-hmm. it just feels natural to who I am. Yeah. That has ultimately been the goal. So today was just an extension of that. You know, Fatima and I, obviously, we, we just bounce off each other. Mm-hmm. And, and it's an extension of who we are as people. Mm-hmm. I think that that's, that's why the whole idea of faith is so essential. Like, even if you don't subscribe to my faith specifically, mm-hmm. I think faith is essential because it should just be a part of innate of who you are. Not about converting people, not about competing with people, not about saying you're wrong and I'm right. Um, you know, because religion has been the excuse for a lot of warfare and a lot of issues. But it's not about that. It's, a, it's about just saying innately, this is who I am as a person. This is what holds me down. This is what keeps me grounded. This is what gives me purpose or, or reason. And, and essentially, you know, that I think I believe in that. The most the most essential thing is love. Yeah. Which I think is, should be the power that moves all of us to action. What so that mean? leads us to just serve children too. All right, so, but, um, that's an outside. So what do, you, what do you feel that, that, um, 
that whole uh, word love kind of because I've been here lately. Um, love is a verb. Like, was it, love is a feeling. Yeah. Well, how do you? How would you describe? I guess that word love. Yeah. I, I I think love love cannot be a feeling because if love is a feeling, then love cannot be eternal. Love cannot be permanent. Right, because and you think love. Is uh, I I think love is a decision. It's a constant, conscious decision. Like I cannot consciously, if I'm not conscious about it, I cannot say I love somebody. Like I have to, like put everything in perspective and say, you know what? I've never felt about somebody like this. I have never been willing to do this much for a person. Mm-hmm. I love this person. Like you know, and it's constant decision of choosing to love somebody. Why? Because sometimes you gotta choose to love them more than you love yourself. What you would believe would give you gratification for a moment if I'll talk about in a relationship for example right like you can choose to cheat but because of love for that person your self gratification the love for you has to sometimes submit to the love you have for them mm-hmm. and you choose no man this is not worth it because I wouldn't want to hurt them yeah. you get me and, and I think that that's the, the essence of love love is an action it's a decision constantly of choosing somebody over myself so you're saying like, as far as the word goes a verb then, yeah, right? yeah how yeah. people yeah, yeah. because I, I can't be a feeling in my opinion if it's a mm-hmm. feeling then in reality none of us have ever experienced love okay so hold up so you're saying so you're saying love is a is a choice and is an action it's something that you put into action is, is, is yeah. what you're kind of okay like, um, the, the, way I, the reason I say is because so what would you say then is like that um it's like, you know, when you first, I guess, meet somebody or whatever, you know, everybody's like, oh, you have that feeling. The attraction, you have that. Yeah. Cause, I mean, a, a lot of people would argue, right? Like, the whole the whole thing about love is like, um, it is like this force, mm-hmm. right? To be yeah. like, you know, people say, well, yeah. to be reckoned with, right? It's like this whole uh, feel of emotion yeah. that a lot of people yeah. feel, right? Like, you know, for example, like a mom's love for a child mm-hmm. is like, you know, it's not, I don't think that's necessarily a decision. Or do you think that would be a decision? Because yeah. that's almost like a... I would definitely say it's a decision because there's a lot of absent moms. Well, I mean, right, but I mean, there's a lot of ups and dads. Just because you're, a, just because you pre- created a kid doesn't make you a father. Right. Love but, makes you a father. But now the the question is though, like, so for example, you can love someone from a distance, right? So I mean, because what, what, when it comes down to like, I guess, and, and the reason I'm kind of getting into it is because you know what, what what I'm looking at in the background is just this whole action thing, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, so when you when you take action on certain things, right? So like, let's say love. Um, what does that necessarily look like? Yeah. Uh, I. I Obviously, not every case is the same, but I think the essence of of love when I when we talk about other people uh-huh. is uh, the biggest expression of love would be self sacrifice. Okay, what do you mean? By like uh, you know, laying down your interests, laying down your benefits, laying down yeah. your emotions, your decision for whatever is best for that person. You know, mm-hmm. that's why uh, everybody says you know the the greatest love is the mother's love, mm-hmm. because a mother would go through lengths. We hear stories about a mother picking up cars for her children, a yeah. mother you know doing these supernatural things that adrenaline fills them in when they hear that their child is in need. Yeah, yeah. You get me? And, and so there's that idea that she's willing to put herself in whatever situation mm-hmm. for the sake of her child. Like you know, she wouldn't uh, second guess taking a bullet. She wouldn't second guess you know her suffering for his safety. And, and, and that is the whole idea of love. Love, in my opinion, is, is that fulfillment of sacrifice. Gotcha. Like, if if I'm not willing to sacrifice me for you, I don't think it's love. And I don't mean necessarily every time it's about giving your life. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's about giving what I want or gotcha. what I prefer. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, the whole idea of, um, you know, marriages. Marriages nowadays, we don't see marriage last as long as it used to. Part, part of it is because people have the freedom to now say, you know what, screw this, I don't care about the norms. But yeah. let's let's forget that part. Let's talk about the love part. The love part is because people are watching too much Disney, and Disney only teaches you up to the wedding day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything ends when they get married yeah, or when they have the right. first kiss. Yeah. Yeah. But nobody tells you what happens the Monday, three three months from now, or that Tuesday, nine months from now, whatever. Yeah. And and so when you ask these marriages that lasted for a long time or have been lasting for a long time, they'll tell you not everything was perfect, mm-hmm. but we chose to work it through. Yeah. You know, it was a sacrifice to say, you know what, I don't feel happy in this relationship at this moment, but I'm not going to throw it away for this moment. Mm-hmm. Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, um, and, uh, that's, that's so interesting about that. Cause that's so true. Like, you know, we, we kind of look at life, especially nowadays, like through kind of like a lens, right? Like through a specific lens. It's mm-hmm. like, uh, or a scope. Like, it's, it's really just a bunch of moments, right? But, you know, li- life really is built up a, on upon a bunch of moments, right? But the reality, I mean, and, and what I mean by life is just like the impact mm-hmm. of certain things yeah. in your life. You know what I mean, but reality is that you do got to live day to day, hour to hour, minute to minute, yeah. right? So like, it, it's so true. Like, what, uh, and I agree with what you said there. Like, you know, um, I think that like, you know, the way that people view uh, love is like 
like you said, like it's like this one little fairy tale, and if it's not always like this, then it's, then it's not real. It's not love, mm-hmm. right? Right, and you know it, that's so true. A lot of people are predicated on like kind of living their life through these moments, right? And like they kind of hold on to like um, almost almost like it's, it's almost like this. It's like a lot of people emotionally, I feel, are starting to become like uh, people are to fulfill themselves physically with like things, right? So for example, you know, there's people that go out shopping mm-hmm. to buy a bunch of stuff to fulfill themselves. To feel right? some way. Mm-hmm. And it's almost like that emotion. Yeah. Right? By that I mean like, you know, people will be like, okay, well you know what, I need this in my life right now to kinda like continue to go up and continue to move up. And if sure. this is not happening then we're not you know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's and, almost and, like a block. I, I think in a, in a lot of ways what we've done is we've forsaken love for like mm-hmm. because see love is, is decision is hard. Yeah. But like is the moment, gratif- that the momentary like quick gratification. Yeah. You know, we're like, that's what we're always looking for, that spark. Yeah. The spark. Yeah. But as people who've been married, that spark died the first year of marriage. Yeah. yeah. Something else had to keep that marriage afloat and successful and healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, it was that mature development of love. Mature love does not look like falling in love. First of all, the worst, the, the phrase falling in love sucks. Because if you ever fall... It hurts. Yeah, right. <laughs> so falling in love, home, the whole right. idea of falling in love, you know. That, that is the whole thing. Though, yeah, right? like yeah, falling in love yeah, cause it because hurts. it hurts, you know, like you fell in love. Mm-hmm. You know, but I don't want to fall in love. I want to develop love. Right. Because and so we've been teaching a generation, ourselves, we teach ourselves to fall in love, fall in love, fall in love. Yeah. We never taught ourselves to build love. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you, you think Adam loved you? I think so too. It's just like, you know, the Bible says that, you know, he saw her and it was like, like perfect. Like it was, who he would have dreamt of, who he would have desired. He didn't yeah, know. Yeah. It was the person he didn't know he wanted or needed. Yeah. Which is literally how you would describe love, in my opinion. Yeah. So, because Adam was perfectly fine. He says that he awoke and whoa, she was there. Now all of a sudden he wanted her and needed her. Right. But before he didn't know that. And I think that's a story all men say, right? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, yo, I thought yeah. I was fine until I met this person. And then it's like shit, so I didn't realize. You know? that, so yeah, I think yeah. consciously or unconsciously, that's that, that's the play of love. Is I thought I was good and then I found something that my life before does not compare to what I have now. Yeah, I got you. You know, it's fine. I was thinking this morning, right? Um, so I was watching this like old video from Kenner Hart, right? And he was talking about like how, how guys be clueless or whatever. And it, I, I got to thinking like, it was so interesting. So, you know, like before Adam, Adam and Eve, right? Um, and just the story itself, right? Um, it goes back to how they were in the Garden of Eden or whatever. You know, you really think about it. It's like, you know, that, that still exists to this day. Like women really especially like in, in a relationship women do kind of like almost control like the flow of the mm-hmm. relationship right because so you know eve was like okay you know she got persuaded she went ahead she ate the apple whatever she fucked up <laughs> but i only imagine adam like oh shit man. all right fuck, fuck, i gotta eat it too you know like like yeah I, you, you kind of get to those those kind of like like I thoughts yeah. like why why would you go ahead and fuck because you know men are logical thinkers right and usually we're yeah. logical thinkers you know what I mean? When I'm more emotional, right? So maybe that's why kind of Satan probably went for Eve in, I guess, that sense, but it's in the nature, like, right? And I don't know, I just got to think about it, like, yo, okay, so Adam kind of, like, said, all right, well, you know, I know I'm not supposed to eat from the sheep, but I'm going to eat about anyways, because a girl, uh, yeah. this girl that I'm feeling <laughs> is telling me, right, that I should eat from this tree. So I'm like, well, how do you rationalize that process? I, I think, uh, I mean, I just really left because I just started processing my head. I don't know, we didn't think about these things. I was like, oh, shit, fuck it, You know, like, like, number one, like, I, I thought two things. things. Yeah. Number one, it was like, maybe, because, you know, we assumed we read, and it was like, all right, so we're like, here, try. Uh-huh. What if he was just like, let me see something happens to her. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, because we don't get the perspective of time. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me. You just did something. You just, wait, you know what? Let me take out my glasses real quick. You guys, <laughs> like, like, because, like, like, you know, we don't get the perspective of time. If you read the verse, right, uh-huh. you, you, you'll get that, you know, so... She ate and she gave to her husband to eat. Right, right. But we don't know if this was two seconds later, twenty minutes later, two hours later. To remember, it, we were talking about you and I that, that biblical time at the beginning. Yeah. It was completely different at our time. Yeah, yeah. So it could have been a while later. We we just never really assumed that. We just what do you mean by a while later? Like, like what would you think? I, a while later. I just like I'm thinking like when we brought it to our okay. It's like you know God said that I shouldn't eat from that, right? Uh-huh. So. You know, she ate it, whatever. She felt. Let me see what happens. 
Like, what happens to her? Yeah. After she dies, yeah, yeah, she yeah, falls. Yeah, like, I think that, 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 that's a very funny uh, story. <laughs> that's and then, and then, and then he's, like, he's like, you know what? It's been like an hour or whatever. Yeah. Not an hour. Yeah, like, like, right, 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 yeah. And it's like, um, okay. Look, I, I tried to not have or, or, or you ever seen the dudes? Because I, I, I'm guilty of being this dude. Like, your, your girl's a fire starter. Like, that's what she is. Uh-huh. And, and so, like, you know, if your girl's a fire starter, most of the times you're this dude. That she be causing beef, she be saying reckless things. You just be in the back like, mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that's most guys. That's most <laughs> exactly. guys. Exactly. So like, I feel like that is the other option of Adam and Eve. He was like, she was like the fire started, like, shoot, let's do this. Yeah, and, she then, like, yeah, you a and then he was like, he was like, nah. she already did it. Mm. But that, 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 that's what I'm saying. All right, all right, all right. So I like your theory. I like where you're going with this. Okay. <laughs> so you think, so first off, I like what you said. That's true. So you think. When when Adam let Eve take a bite of the apple, right, or whatever, or maybe not let her, right? No, no, maybe he wasn't even there. Exactly, that's what he Because he wasn't. The assumption is she tries and then she gives to her. Husband. Right, yeah. but but then he's like, well, let me see what happens. Like, does this girl die? Mm-hmm. Like, the, like that's, what what happen? that's what right, I would do. That's right. Yeah, look, if you told me like women, like you know, when when parents used to tell you like, don't touch that, you get burned. Yeah. But you see somebody getting close, you're not gonna tell them stop. Yeah. Because you want to see if they really do if get they burned. They really get burned. If oh, they get burned, shit. then you be like, oh, I'm not touching it. All right, hold on. So now, do you think Adam really loved Eve at that time? Where he's like, where he's like, <laughs> well, you know what? Well, let's, be clear. let's see what fucking happens now. <laughs> let's G. He's he even trying to like, oh my god, like, are you no, okay? Well, like, the, the thing is that everybody, all this is speculation, right? We're all gonna be. Well, hey, this shit can be real. But, but uh, <laughs> the funny hey, part. Like, hold on, no, no, don't say speculation, cause you kill the story, no, right? No, no, this shit can be real. <laughs> this shit can be real life, my nigga. But the point, the point is that when I when I when I go that way in that route, right? Uh-huh. That's the thing. Adam's like. You know, well, I was fine without her before. If she does die, I'll be chilling. <laughs> it's like, okay, if you die, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I well, got another rib. I got you know, yeah, a couple yeah, more yeah, ribs. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? We good. But, uh, um, oh, cause he's, like, he's like, you know, I, I, I'm going down that route. Uh-huh. I imagine this going down. You know, like saying, it's like, hey, you know, she tries whatever. So she, she goes, she tries it. And then she's like, well, this is good. This is good. Adam! Hey, Adam! Yeah. Come here! Yeah. Come here, Adam. Uh-huh. And then he's like, "What, Eve? <laughs> you know, like, like, what's going on? What's going on? I just tried nah, this. Guys don't talk like I that. just tried what this. Eve? That's not like a girl. Like, what, Eve? No, whatever. So he's like, I just, he's like, I just tried this. Uh huh. He's like, but we weren't supposed to try it. Yeah, but I tried it, so now you have to try it. Ah. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, okay, okay. So it's like equivalent to like when women are like, oh, well, you know, we gotta go to this party dressed alike. Like, well, why you gotta go dress like? Well, I picked this outfit, so now you gotta go dress like. Oh, or we yeah. have. Oh, no, even worse than that. It's period. First of all, we gotta go to a party. Period. Why well, don't have to go? I don't even like this party. Yeah, but we got invited. Ah, so it's like it's like wait, what? Oh, they're like no, no, but no, the no, guy no. doesn't fight it. No, no, no. The guy, the guy usually goes, but I don't want to go, but I do. Oh, okay. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so, so Adam, so I, so it's almost safe to say yeah. Adam might have been the yeah, dude yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. I will fuck you. She, no. she well, doing the, this. The, so the, word, the word Adam literally means man. So right. it was like, so it was like the whole like every man was symbolizing this dude. So you know, okay, but all right. Before I go off topic, so the question to you is: Do you think Adam really loved Eve? Then yeah. Can we? Okay, look, think about it. Because once you get kicked well, out of the party, right? you want to make it romantic. I'll make it romantic. Oh, that's why. What? Because you said love. Right? So let's okay, okay, let's see, let's so, see. So. What if he was like, you know, we're in this highs and lows, so let's do us apart. Whatever happens, uh-huh. we go down. If you eat from the food, it's like a vibe from the food anyway, so I'll leave it with you. Uh, so, it's, so it's like, yo, if you die, I die yeah. with you. Yeah, we ride, like Bonnie and Clyde. So, you think, so they were the first Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. I don't believe they were the first Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, because they, they were supposed and to be together. Up, and they rode up on God. Yeah. And they weren't even like, they rode up on God. Like, this, you know, like, these people be robbing banks and dumb shit. They rode up on God. Like, yeah. I'm talking about, like, they put the gun to God. Like, yo, like, yo what like, you about to do? They're basically going to die. And they got their ass kicked out. <laughs> bad, real fucking bad, quick. Real bad. fucking quick. All right. Okay. Well, you know what? Okay. Let, let's keep going with that then. Okay. So they get kicked out, right? So clearly they're fucking in love. They have to be in love at this point. So it's like the first time that humanity really struggle, sees love. Yeah, That's struggle. the first Bonnie and Clyde, like you said, right? So it's the first struggle. Okay. So, you know, at this point, they, they realize, okay, like, yo, now we're naked, whatever, whatever, right? Uh, and I like how you said, like, yo, he's like, yo, you're beautiful. He was looking at that ass. He was looking at that. He was looking at that. <laughs> well, he, he, he gave her a bunch of kids. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, okay, so he, they have kids, right? Now they have kids. Okay. Now, we're talking about this. Now, these kids, they don't necessarily love each other, right? Or maybe, or maybe because th- 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 there's a point. Can you love somebody and hate on them at the same time? Because, what is it? Cain hated Abel or yeah, whatever the yeah, thing, the thing yeah. was, right? 
Do you think that they had love for each other? Well, or they no, remember, each other at remember all? the thing about about Cain isn't that he hated Abel. He hated the fact that God chose Abel's offering. He was salty. Isn't that he hated his brother? Yeah. Because, you know, like, I have brothers. I could be yeah. salty with brothers, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I remember growing up, I, to this day, I'm the least athletic in the family. Uh-huh. I remember growing up, like, I was the least athletic. The only sport I was really, really good at was swimming. Yeah. Like, in swimming, I was, I was like, up there with them. I could keep up. I was probably better than them. Yeah. But every other sport, you know, we used to play soccer. We used to play in a bunch of things. My parents used to put in a bunch of things. Yeah. And they used to thrive. And yeah. I'd be, like, in the back, and I'd be like, you know, like, yeah, man. Ah. And, and you know, so like I, I can feel salty doesn't mean I, I love, love them less. It's right. just that the anger, the hatred that he felt for this situation was mm-hmm. so big, it led him to be like, you know what, screw this. Oh, but okay, but you see, but that, that's where it kind of comes. That's in why right? I always say love yeah. is a choice. Okay, so because he could have chosen to love or not love. Okay, so you think that when he chose to kill him, that was him choosing not to love him anymore. Yeah. That, that's how you feel. Like, you just like, yo, fuck it. Because like, and you know when, when he made that choice it wasn't when he killed him. Was when, you know, the story says that God asks, you know, where's your brother? And he goes, am I my brother's keeper? Yeah. Well, God knew. Yeah. Like, I mean, God always ask questions that he knows the answer to. He's just confronting you to see if you'll be honest with him. God, but he already knows it. Yeah, exactly. Already. So, you know, because the first person he asked was who? Adam. Mm-hmm. He asked Adam the same question. Adam and Eve, where are you guys? Like he didn't know. They were hiding. Yeah, yeah, like he didn't know. Yeah. You know, because that's what we always done. When we made a bad choice, instead of... And to this day, we all say, be a man, talk about it, be confronting. Yeah, yeah. What we do is we, we hide it. Mm. So it's like, you know, so the question, the real question is basically, you know, what have you done? Yo, my people, we're deciphering something here. That, that's me. really humanity. Humanity has always, when we, we have always struggled with being honest. Mm-hmm. Right when we yeah, screw yeah, up, yeah. We, we, yeah. Just, we just we don't yeah. get we either get defensive yeah. or, or we or we, we just we, we so put it or we diminish it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. In, in Adam's case, he just hides. Yeah. In Cain's ca- a case, he gets defensive. He's like, Am I, is, "Is it my job to be babysitting?" Yeah. yeah. I, after he fucked them, after up. he killed them. Uh, why? Because uh, that's what to this day I, I killed with a rock. Right? Yeah. Like a rock. That's why to this day we still find it refreshing when someone says, "Hey, I have issues." Yeah. Because you're like. No, but we're supposed to all pretend like we're fine. Like, yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. wait, what do you mean you ha- you are admitting you have problems? Yeah. Like, it still throws you off. And if you're in religious circles, it throws you even more. Yeah, yeah for sure. For when sure. somebody admits that they're broken, yeah, yeah, you're like, yeah. you're like, yo, yo, sh- we, yeah, we gotta yeah, fake yeah. it to make it. Like, yeah, right, right. right. No, that's, that's not what I did. Damn. Okay, so, okay. So, I, okay, I, I kind of, I, I see why you say the truth. I mean, like, for me, the thing that I'm not fully convinced on that end is because it's, it still has to bring out like okay, so this is the thing. In science, they broke down as emotions in, in chemical, are yeah. chemical reactions in the body, right? Yeah. Whatever bullshit to say, because that's not that's, that's necessarily always the case, mm-hmm. right? You know, um, you no, know, these emotions, these feelings, get you to like, like for example, right? A Christmas time comes, whatever holiday comes, you know, and it's time for you to be like with your family. Some people like look forward to that. You get me? They have this yeah. like, you, I'm gonna be with my people. Traditions this, this, and that. or whatever. You get me? And, and some people really do get that excitement to be with somebody. Like, yo, I'm, I'm down to kick it with this person. I'm down to chill with this person. No, th- those are emotions that bottle up in mm-hmm. you. Get me? Because for the most part, we play off emotions every single day. Time, you yeah, get me? Like, yo, if you feel down, you don't want to do shit. Yeah. You get me? And it's going to be very hard for somebody to get you to do shit. Unless it's like that person that really brings your energy up. and really, You get me? And it's like, all right, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. You get me? And then mm-hmm. you're having a good time. All these are, are causes of emotion. All these like uh, bonds and stuff like that bring you closer together. For sure, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's hard to say it's a choice because it's not necessarily a choice. Like, for example, so if we look at like, um, what was it? Uh, like, to continue with the Bible, right? What, who was about to kill his son? Uh, Abraham. Right. He was about to fuck him up. I mean, but why? Because God told him, yo, go fuck him up. Yeah, basically. But, but in that case, you could argue that he had love for his son, but he had more love for God. So he preferred but to he obey. Love. Yeah, but he preferred to obey because see, that's the thing about our but, culture. But, but, but say, no, 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 never turn no, to no, hate. But, but that's my thing. My thing is, you gotta understand that biblical understanding of love is very different than our cultural understanding of love, like in this time. Mm, well, we'll, we'll, why? Because we'll that b- biblical understanding of love revolves around obedience. Okay. That is the big concept. Like you see, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you something. You'll see God saying this basically: If you love me, obey my commands. That is really what most of the Old Testament is. Okay. Jesus says in the New Testament too. Yeah, yeah. He says, you know, people will know that you are my disciple by the way you love each other. Mm. You know, and he goes and he quotes Old Testament. He says, you know, you heard it said, um, you know, 
an iPhone 9, but if, if someone gives you a cheek, turn the other. And he yeah. like turns the, into a different cultural understanding of the world that is a love that is greater. And then, to, before he's crucified, he goes and says, a new commandment I give you. He says, love each other as I have loved you. Mm -hmm. You know, because the, the real commandment was, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Mm -hmm. Which is a very basic understanding of, you know, what the golden rule, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't do to others you wouldn't want to do to yourself. Yeah, yeah. But he ups that by saying, love them as I have loved you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're a Christian or if you know the Bible, but it shows that Jesus demonstrates his love by sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm, so that's a but new that, kind of love. Yeah, exactly. So he sacrifices for people, mm -hmm. but he also demonstrates his love for God in obedience so by sacrifice. So you're saying that now culturally, that's our love, though. The sacrifice? No, no, I'm saying no. That's the biblical understanding. Okay, so our saying, love is a feel. It's a feel what, what good love. Like, look. So if you, if you if don't somebody, feel good, if you don't feel excited, if, energized, like, like, like if love. somebody doesn't make you feel some type of way, mm -hmm. then maybe I ran out of love. Or we're not in love anymore, right? Mm -hmm. If you know somebody Shouldn't challenges, you have those feelings? somebody challenges my views, mm -hmm. you know that maybe we just grew apart. Okay, we can't understand that love can be matured and developed. You know, like if at this moment, you know, I don't feel the energy when I, my girl and I've been arguing, whatever, and this girl makes me feel some type of way, mm -hmm. you know, that maybe I just I'm starting to I'm starting to love this girl. Okay, no, right, tell me, tell like, me, tell me. that's what I, I, I believe our culture uh, let, let, uh, bodies. Let's look at the shift, though. What do you mean by, um, like, if I'm not feeling? Because isn't, isn't there always supposed to be a feeling? Like, well, there should always be, well, like, yeah, oh, you... But, I mean, because, like, okay, so th this is always my argument, right? My argument is this. A girlfriend, it should be a friend, and the only difference between you and your girlfriend and friends is that you don't have sex with your friends. You have sex with your girlfriend or your wife, whatever, you get me? That's what I always see mm -hmm. as, as a difference, you get me? Like, the bond should change. You on the other hand, you disagree. You're saying that's a deeper bond. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Why? Like, where's that deeper bond come from? Isn't that a feeling? Well, no, because for me, it's gonna be rooted really in faith, and it's a commitment. Okay. It's a commitment. It's a commitment that regardless of how I feel, mm -hmm. I'm in this for the long. Sorry, for the long run. Right. That is the difference. The distinction to me is that I'm not in necessarily in every friendship for the long run, because mm -hmm. I understand some friendships will be outgrown. Yeah. I'm not in every relationship for a long run, uh -huh. but in marriage, for me, I think marriage is the closest thing to to real sacrifice there is. Right. Because a real healthy marriage will have to have compromise. Right. And that will mean sometimes I will not get my way. Well, well, okay. And, okay. and, and that you know make made, made me feel it made me feel like when I don't get my way, it made me feel bad. Mm -hmm. But because I love that person. I'm okay with it. Well, right, but I mean, I mean, okay, but you also, you also in a stage of maturity where you recognize, you know, there's a disagreement and then there's like a, a betrayal or like a straight trifling. Yeah. You get me? Mm -hmm. the, so, like for example, if you might be in love with somebody, but just because you're in an argument and you don't have the lovey-dovey feelings at the moment, you know what the real exactly. long-term yeah. feelings yeah. are. Though. But I don't know if I use the word feeling because. Like well, maybe, okay, okay. maybe in like the understanding of like re a normal understanding, I was saying maybe you can you can say it's a feeling. Is that is that? But I would say it's more than a, 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 a truth, a knowledge. Well, to it. Th this is why I say that though, because okay, th you know when I look at like older older families, right? Mm -hmm. So like you know you're in your forties, your fifties, right? Husband, wife, and you got kids. You got these kids running around, whatever. And then you might be a younger parent. These motherfuckers look like down. You know I mean? like, they they usually look down. It's like shit. You know it ain't it ain't really yeah. flowing. You know because. Life, you get me? Life, it, it takes you up and down. You, mm -hmm. get me? you hear a lot with older people like, yeah, you know, love, the feeling, yeah, you know, but fades, that fades yeah. away, you know, then you kind of have to like just kind of... Spice up the right. relationship, whatever it is. But but that's that's just it though, like, you know, you kind of hit the wall because you're no longer like, maybe you don't do day nights, you don't do things to excite each other. You kind of hit the wall. When you hit that wall, what usually happens is, well, you know, if you don't take care of the, the issue, it progresses to like divorce yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah. that, right? But because you don't make each other feel special, you don't make each other feel something anymore. So, you, I mean, from what you're saying, you're almost saying, like, no, like, I'm, this is a commitment, so I'm but gonna I, fight I, it out. I, I know, because to me, is is the the fact that I don't make that person feel something is because I'm not choosing to love that person at that moment. Because I, I, I think every moment is a decision for love. Yeah, every but, moment I, but I mean, okay, explain that real quick. So, the perfect example is what you just said. You know, why do we start going on date night? Because it's like, ah, we've done it already. So I'm choosing to just be complacent instead of going out of my way and sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Like, I think for me, sacrifice is like the equivalent of love, right? Mm -hmm. So in sacrifice, I say, you know what? I'm tired today. I did have a long day. 
But let's go out. Let's hang out. Let's let's go on date night. That's. But it's argumentative though that that date night, like you just said, it's gonna trigger a feeling. Yes. Right for that person. Yeah, it's gonna trigger a feeling for that person. But in my case, yeah, it's being produced by a decision to love that person. Well, true, but it's also but it's also. No, for no, you I, I understand. Boy. I understand that love will always bring forth some feelings. Right, I understand that. But I'm saying it's not directly feelings. I don't know, man. Because I think I, this is the thing. I understand what you're coming from, and I could agree that you do need to make actionable things for love, right? Like, you need to be actionable. Mm-hmm. So, I understand where you're coming from. So, inside of, like, yes, is, is a verb, right? There are going to be times mm-hmm. where shit ain't pretty, is and not rainbows, all that shit, right? You have to kind of work mm-hmm. those things. So, I, I I get that. But then, on the other hand, though, you have, you have like, this kind of scope of, like, no, but you you are supposed to be constantly in a feel of something, you know what I mean? Okay, for example, you might chill with your girl and it's a neutral feeling, like, all right, like, we're just chilling, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're not like, oh my, you know, like when you first start dating, yeah. it's like, you're yeah, nervous, yeah, so you're like, like, giggly, you don't feel that no more, you know what I mean? For you, it's like, okay, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm a burp, I'm gonna do whatever funny, you know what I mean? At that point, right? You kind of start removing these walls, like, you initially build up, you know, initially yeah. you build up this, like, persona, yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah, it's this comfort coming in or whatever. Right. Right, but at the end of the day, though, you so you have to feel something for someone. Oh, for sure. Like yeah, they always right. say, like yo, like I yo, I got love for you because, like you said, like yo, look, even if like for example, like just like you said with friendships, with friendships is always like that. Like it's like yo, we might not be chilling right now, we might not chill forever, but I still got love for you. I still want you to succeed. I still want you to be a better person. But you I don't mean? really feel that person. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't necessarily feel anything. Well, no, but that I mean, it all, all depends on that. That's what I'm saying. See, that that, that to me kind of kind of draws in because it depends. Also, for example, let's say let's say like I always say this, right? Yo, I always try to spend as much time as I can with my friends before they they get into the yeah. merry zone or whatever. Yeah, because look, I say a hundred, well, not a hundred percent. I say like ninety percent of my friends at this point are in relationships. Like regardless, yeah, you know I mean, I got maybe like one friend that's not in a relationship or maybe like two. Yeah, you know I mean, but realistically, everybody's in a relationship. Yeah, you know I mean. So what happens is like they spend a lot of time with, with their peoples and when I when I get the opportunity to chill like yo let's go let's kick it whatever it's all good you get me but I realize that that yeah, that coming. that thing is gonna get even bigger at one point where it's gonna be like all right like yo we have a family yeah. now we're not really you know it's gonna be very rare you know it's not gonna be the same so that understanding is like okay cool like you can still have love for somebody and like not even chill with them no more yeah. you get me. And it's like, yo, I don't really chill with you like that, but because of cer- certain circumstances, you get me? But I still got love for you, though. It's not like, like mm-hmm. I still love you. It's not, it's not going to be that thing. Because, for example, I have family that, like, I don't see all the time, but I got love for those people, you get me? I have friends that mm-hmm. I don't... I have, I have a friend that I don't ever see ever, fucking Julian, who I never see that motherfucker. That motherfucker lives right here, you get me? I still got love for Julian, no matter what. Like, if Julian calls me, the friend is... Like, if I call Julian, not that he's not picking up because like, Bash or Sleeper or something like that, right? But if Julian calls me, I'm going to pick up. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be on something like, nah, yeah, yeah, fuck it, yeah, you don't answer me, I'm not going to do I, I wouldn't do that, you get me? So, but that, that's always a feeling. It's not like, oh my God, I'm like in love yeah. with like, no, but it's always like that. You always have something in you to be like, yo, like, that's that's like, like yeah, but, it. But, but I think... Could, okay, look, look I'm, I'm putting it like this. You see people that die all the time, right? And we are almost desensitized yeah. to it. But let that be a person that you actually love I bet you get fucking hard. No, no, and, and I'm you know telling I mean? you, look, I agree with you in a sense that that a lot of times the expression of love is feeling. Mm-hmm. I just don't think that that's the foundation of love. I think the expression and the foundation are two different things. Is that this is the thing? I think I think it's almost. Like, I think a lot of people confuse um, certain things because this is the thing. I feel like you can in in uh, Twenty One Savage said this right. He said, "I would rather want loyalty than love because you can love me, but you don't necessarily have to be loyal to me." Right, mm-hmm. like you can betray somebody mm-hmm. you love, right? That like you can, like yeah. realistically speaking, because you loved yourself more than you loved them. No, you you don't know for what reason. Yeah. It's not necessarily because you loved yourself. Yeah. It, it, it 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 could be any any number of reasons. Who I, knows? I, I think they would trickle down to that. At the end, like at the bow, bottom of everything, it would be because you chose to love yourself more than you love that person. But okay, e- even if we go to the end, it's still love. Yeah. But, but you still love the person. But that's my point. My point. But is, we're not comparing love. Like we're not comparing levels of love. It's like I have a level three love for you, but I have a level ten love for me. Like it's still love. That's literally the essence of it all. Is you know, be, make that whatever is your biggest love, mm-hmm. is who you dedicate the most of your energy, the most of your time, the most of your whatever, right? And it's also the feelings that derive the most. Well, from. No, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Though. Whoever's you, no, I wouldn't yeah, say that. Yeah. Okay, now so how much you love your parents? A lot. Like you'll die for your parents. Yeah. But you don't spend all your time with your parents. Yeah, but they're not my biggest love. What do you mean? 
They're not my biggest so, love. Who do you say? God's your biggest yeah. love? Okay, but that's different, though. That's that's, that's, that, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, this, this is what I say. It's different. Like, remember, to me, it's to me, it's always going to be, to me, it's always going to be outlined. That's the problem. It's always going to be in the, it's always going to be outlined in biblical values, right? And right, so right. when I look at, for example, you know, uh, John 3.16 is like the most famous Christian verse. Okay. Says, for God so loved the world, he gave. Okay. Literally. That's an right, right. explanation of love for him. His, his expression of love was action. Okay. But now, but now you said something though. But if you're gonna go off of love and levels, then there's level of love you have for other people in your life. Yeah. And for example, yeah. like you love Everyone your parents. Everyone like, the same. You love your parents way more than you might love uh some guy in yourself, yeah, let's say, or something course, like that, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, it, so there's different there's levels. levels for love. So right, but this, it, it's the same thing though. So I mean, I get that. Yo, God's your biggest love. Cool. Now let's go back onto Earth. Like, who's your <laughs> biggest love in Earth? It's gonna have to. It's gonna stoke from your parents. Like your first love is your mom or yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but like your fucking parents. Yeah. It's your first love. Your parents did everything for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even to this day, you don't do shit because you don't want to upset yep. your parents or whatever. Yeah. So that that says more because you might not give a fuck about if you upset this person. Like yo, fuck you mm-hmm. and your feelings, but you don't want to do the same thing to your parents, right? But I'm choosing conscious. That's what I mean. Like it's still conscious decision to of, love them. Of, no, it could be. A, I think yours is more instinctive than it is uh, conscious. No, well, in part it is instinctive, but in part it is conscious. Like I would say, it's a big part of conscious. What would you say is conscious? Like that uh, part. Like the part that I don't publicize things, the part that I don't, um, you know, I don't behave a certain way, I, I, because I'm like, no, that's not, you know, I'll get a reflection of the love I have for them, because for me, part of love is honor too, well, right? What would you think is instinctively? Instinctively is, um, you know, like like I'll see, like yeah, I, I, I see people being disrespectful, like I would never do that, right? You know, that's because that was the way I was raised. It's instinctively it, ingrained. Exactly, yeah, but yeah. but you see, but that's what I'm trying to get at. That like, okay, so there's this thing called love. But there's a lot of factors that go into it. Because I get what you're saying by the foundation. But I just, I think that like, excuse me. Yeah. But I think that it's other things that really make up that love, which is going to be, like you just said, honor, loyalty. Like those things make up what love, yeah. generally it's a human mm-hmm. being as we describe it. Like Respect. If you, because for example, okay. So like, let's say I say, yo, I love you, but I never respect you. I yeah. disrespect you in fucking yeah. streets. And shit. You're going to be like, yo, my nigga, like, you get me? It's going to always be beef because it's like, bro, like, fuck are you doing? You get me? So, but that's what I mean like like to me the whole danger of like talking about feelings is how many dudes you ever heard say yo I really love this girl and they constantly cheat on her is your phone about to die it is yeah it's a little like Doo. did it record no it's recording though alright but how many times have you ever seen that the dudes mm-hmm. be like no I really love that girl but they still cheat on her all the time all the time yeah so yeah. that's what I mean by like to me real love is decision because they do emotionally love this person right but they're not conscious enough to say, you know what, I love that person more than I love myself to sacrifice what well, I want. The, the, the thing with cheating though is a little different because it's a thing. So cheating it only like is only bad when they find out. <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you and I'm gonna tell you why I say this though. It's only bad when the reaction spl- So for example, if somebody cheat on you, you never find out in your entire life, you, there will never be well, any malice. Well, yeah, well, well, right? you, well you don't know, you know, like ignorance. I, is and, uh, and me per me personally for whatever this is not that I'm saying I, I agree with cheating like, you know no that's not that's not what I'm saying at all you get me but what I'm saying is that like what, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. but what I'm I don't do relationships so I can't cheat so so what I'm trying to get at is that in that scope you, you really like think about it it's only bad when you hurt somebody but the underlining is that you're being unloyal or unfaithful to somebody but that only matters if that person holds that value close to them or not Cause that, that's the same. That's a singular thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, okay, most people. In, in other words, what I'm trying to get at is that most people in America, in the United States or Florida, or whatever, they see cheating as bad because it's something that's culturally taught. Like if you're raised with, oh, you can you can have multiple but boyfriends. Like a, like and, yeah, whatever. You don't see that as bad, right? There's people in like, well, I don't know what country that Middle they East. right that they have like a million and one wives, and it's not looked at as bad or whatever, right? So I mean, it's it and, and it's a normal thing. You get me? So. I, I think that it matters the values that you are. Again, if you want to talk from the Bible, I guess, you know, you're right. But, and I understand where you're coming from. Like, you yeah, always see yeah, like that. The thing. the thing is, like, I can, I can understand where you're coming from. But you can also from. see it from I can, this I, I can understand from your level. And I can agree cultural to the time we live in. Mm-hmm. But to me, my foundation uh, is, is, a, is a perspective, a paradigm shift that is based on biblical values. So mm-hmm. that's why I always tell you, like, there's part of me that always holds myself to a higher standard than I hold somebody else. Like, I don't expect people to subscribe to my faith. So I don't expect them to agree with what I'm going to say. But I hold myself higher because I, I do agree to a certain extent. That I believe that for God's sake of the world he gave, then my job is if I love somebody, I got to give. Yeah. Okay. So then 
for, for you, love then comes into a play of, um, it's, it's pure action. So it'll be like a old school parents, like, yo, you show your love to me because let's, you graduated college. Yeah. You obey yeah, me. Sure. And you see that in my life. Right, you right. You see me, I've never got any trouble. I yeah. was a good student. Uh, I'm trying to make my parents proud in right. college, all that other yeah. idea, blah, blah, so, blah. So that, that, that's like your way of like, oh, showing love. So for you, it's not going against the grain. It's going to go with it. In, in, in it there, like to your parents' terms, sense. Yeah, yeah. To your parents. Because, like, like so, so example, on, on, my, on my end, like for me, um, and me and my mom argue all the time. And we argue all the time because I always go against the grain. And my mom always goes against the grain. And my mom has values that I don't believe all right. Mm-hmm. So I speak my mind, and my mom speaks her mind. So I read this thing, it's like, yo, parents spend a lot of times whooping them out of their own kids. You get me? Because at the end of the day, mm-hmm. you get what, you know, when you when you have a kid, most of the time, jeans, all that bullshit, you get, and they're paying attention, and they're going to be some yeah, type you. of version yeah, of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, when you really just pay attention to all of that, you just think that, okay, so... So, so what is um, love to you, right? Like, uh, individualized. Because you're, you're, you're looking at it from a top perspective. Yeah, Most people true. don't ever look at love from a top perspective. That's what they I'm saying, figure like, out what yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, for me, uh, like, cultural love, right, or, or the culture we're living in right now, is very different from the, the love I see or I've been learning because, for me, it's been taught, right? Like, my, I was talking about, like, you know, my parents were set an amazing example for me. Faith plays a big part in the way I see love. And so when you combine those two things... Then it's actionable. It's always gonna be actionable. Yeah. For me. Yeah. And if I can completely understand why you say you know it's, it's mostly predominantly feelings, mm-hmm. because I do see it in a cultural uh, expression of well, the time we're living in mm-hmm. as such. But I completely disagree with. Okay, that. fine. So so let, let's go with, with this because I think either way, I think either way, I, I'm agreeing with a lot of what you're saying. I'm just kind of trying to like like put in some other thoughts. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Bringing the outside perspective. Right. Yeah. But okay, overall, would you say, what is love then? Overall, just, just go up into one definition, I guess, yeah. like how many uh, sentences? I, I think, uh, yeah, love, I would say, is is a decision of putting, in regards to people, right? Yeah. yeah. Of putting someone's needs mm-hmm. ahead of my own. Gotcha. So, so that that's what you'll say, okay, that person loves, loves their you. needs and their wants ahead of me. Right. So if if you want to eat at Chick Fil A and I want to eat at Popeyes, and I choose Chick Fil A, that's love. That's love. That, that's like to you. That's like and that's, that's like a like a, like a very minuscule form. Right, right. It's a little. Yeah. Right. Take it to the other level. Is you know, if I had to choose me live or you live, I let, I choose you live. That's like that's like the that's other, the other extreme, extreme, That's right? like the big. Like, you know, like just for you to give you the last Jesus quote, right? Yeah. Jesus says, "There's no greater love than this than when some a friend lay, laying down your life for a friend." Yeah. Gotcha. There's that, no that, greater that. love than that, according to Jesus. Right, right. right. I get you. And so that is me, like you know, if I sacrifice my appetite for yours, mm-hmm. that's a small example. But if I sacrifice my life for you, that's the other extreme. Right, right. right. Because you can never get that back. Yeah, right. exactly. That, that, it's, essentially, yeah, it's, it's the biggest thing because yeah. you can never get it back, right? Like if I sacrifice like food, the next week I'll go wherever. Yeah, I want. tomorrow yeah, we can yeah, go yeah, get some. Yeah. You get me? Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I get you saying. All right, man. I think that was pretty good. Um... That was random too. Bro. Yeah, no, you just, just, I don't know why you brought it out of <laughs> No, I just, yeah, we just started talking. I was like, all right, buddy, uh, this is where I feel like, This is where my heart is taking me right here. It's all love. 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 It was an outro. It's all love. Yeah, I want to try this. Well, you give us uh, a nice outro and I give a mean outro. <laughs> all right, let's do it. <laughs> or not a mean yeah. outro, but like, you know, maybe a, a more a uh, harsher right, word yeah. outro. But, uh, you know, maybe you, you feel like cringy or maybe you feel uncomfortable. Like maybe you feel like we're trying to push faith on you. None of those things are true. What we are trying to promote is love. You know, Joey says it all the time. Your spouse is the blue heart. And I don't know what the blue heart, but in the in the love emoji, uh, because love is that tool that can change lives. You know, if we if we see ourselves, you know, with love, because the first thing is self love, right? Then we can love others, and we can hope and dream and build something bigger for them. So that's the whole promotion of it: is love, love, and love. That's it. <laughs> Alright, man, and uh, I can't be mean at this point. <laughs> so, look, man. You ruined it. I think I'm like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Alright, right, man, for you guys, uh, once again, we just thank you guys for tuning in. If it's the first time, thank you. If it's more than your first time, we double extra thank you. Um, it's been a, a good, um, how long has this been now? A year and a half. A year and a half. Okay, so a year okay, and a half. June, July, August, September, yeah. How about did you about, know? About a year and a half. Okay, so, you know, um, so far, um, I could say I just enjoy this yeah, thoroughly yeah. personally you know this is um, yeah. just like we could chop it up and talk about yeah, whatever whatever about comes people, yeah, you know whatever what I'm saying um, again man we thank you guys so much uh, if you if you are tuning in on the regular 
Um, we appreciate the support. We appreciate the likes, all of that stuff that, you know, that really to me just comes second because you know, at the end of the day, we just hope to give you value, yeah. hope to give you a perspective. And hopefully one day we can just have a discussion, you know, comments and y'all can hate and, you know, stupid shit like that that ends up happening anyways. Uh, but once again, man, we thank you guys. This is Amda. Till next time. Peace.